Hello again, uh, this video is on photocopiers and uh, specifically uh, how, how the image that you want, you want to copy uh, gets put onto uh, the copy paper. And at the end I'll talk about uh, laser printers very briefly, but uh, uh, we're going to concentrate on photocopiers. Um, photocopiers use a uh, property called uh, electrostatics. If you've done any physics, we talk lots about electrostatics, and and basically that's non-moving charges. So um, a, a Van de Graaff generator, uh, one of those big steel spheres, um, gains a very large charge on its surface, and it can discharge. Um, uh, and and if you've been near one of these things, you might have felt a spark jump across, and. Uh, uh, it doesn't hurt you. Well, it does hurt a little bit, but uh, not very much, and it certainly couldn't kill you because these charges are not, uh, there's no current associated with them, or very little current associated with them. Uh, so it's current that kills. Um, electrostatics um, were first observed uh, a long time ago. Um, amber, if you've ever held a piece of amber, uh, you will know, or rubbed a piece of amber, you will know that it uh, it can gain a charge on its surface, and uh, I'm I'm just saying that that's positive charge. It could be negative charge depending on what you rub it against. But early people noticed this uh, in that amber would uh, would it would attract things. If you rubbed it, it would uh, it would certainly uh, if you tried to polish it, it would certainly attract dust, and uh, and and this is where the word electron comes from. Um, electron means amber in Greek. So, uh, what else? Uh, photoconductivity. So, um, if you, um, oh well, actually, I'll talk about that in a second, and and we're going to talk about selenium. Uh, I think it has atomic number thirty-four. I'm pretty sure I read earlier. Um, if you've ever opened a photocopy, you'll know that it has a drum inside, and the drum is like acts like a roller that pushes the paper through, and uh, that that drum has actually got a coating of selenium. Now uh, I'll do the selenium in yellow. It, selenium is actually uh, actually uh, a grey colour, or allotropes of it are. Uh, uh, different colours, but uh, just imagine that this is our selenium coating. Okay, and selenium has this uh, uh, fantastic property uh, called photoconductivity, which means um, in the dark it will hold a charge, but when exposed to light, uh, it w it will discharge. It 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 will allow electrons to flow. So, uh, and photocopies use this. So, um, we also have uh, something here. This is a corona wire. And that corona wire builds up a very large positive or negative charge, depending on the photocopier brand. And, um, and, and that corona wire, uh, that's about I think it's about 8,000 volts or thereabouts. That seems a lot, um, but the Van de Graaff generator that we have at school uh, can generate 400,000 volts, and you can you can go very close to it and experience the electric field around it, and even get to get a get a discharge to your to your hand or body, and and it hurts a little bit, but not very much. So 8,000 volts in the grand scheme of things is not very large. Um, but it's large enough that we have uh, um, something. We have ionisation around this wire, so that wire is very fine. And ionisation of the of the fluid around the wire, which of course is is air, the air that we breathe, and and that passes the charge over to the drum. Okay, so they're little positive charges. I hope you can see those. Okay, as this drum rolls. It comes very close to the corona wire and the ionized uh, ionized air around it and 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 passes that charge kind of sprays that selenium surface with this positive charge 
it's kept in the dark. So, um, of course, the selenium being photoconductive holds on to that charge. So, um, let's see. Okay, so that's fine. That's that's the main component of of the photocopier. We also have, if we have our image, okay, so that, we, that we want to copy, and uh, and of course that that is. I'm going to draw that over here. We put that on the glass plate at the top. We lift the lid and put the 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 copy on there, and that copy might have uh, my textbook actually shows the letter, a large letter T, on that copy. And through a series of lenses and mirrors, so that's a lens, this is the original, uh, through a series of lenses, uh, the drum being underneath, uh, I'm going to draw it in the correct orientation, uh, like they are in photocopies, the drum being underneath is exposed to that image, and I'll draw, uh, what will I do here, yes, yellow, okay, so we have we have that image being projected through the lens and onto the drum and there's a there's a strip light here there's a strip light that goes backwards and forwards you would have seen it if you've left a photocopier open um, you would see this very bright strip light and that illuminates this this image and that image is then uh, projected onto the drum now, that's interesting because uh, we know that the selenium surface is photoconductive. So the, the, the black areas, this, this letter T here, um, we'll, we'll assume that that's a, that's a black letter, uh, of course doesn't, doesn't, isn't, is projected as, as black onto that surface. And so that letter T, or the area on the selenium surface, where the T is stays charged and that's useful. Everything else that's exposed to the to the light um, loses its charge and uh, and and I don't know how to do that but uh, I don't know how to draw that. Um, this is this area these areas here are just neutral. Okay, so this is all neutral where the white of the original has been projected onto the drum. Okay, so um, positive charge and and this this thing that I've done here is neutral. So uh, where where the uh, and and areas that are grey, uh, some of the charge is discharged. This drum is is actually uh, is is earthed. Okay, so um, uh, and I can draw that like that. This drum is earthed out so what happens is when this selenium surface is exposed it, um, it, it attracts the electrons from the aluminium drum on the, on the inside and, uh, and, and discharges. And, and that's, uh, that's basically uh, what I'll talk about for the first part. Uh, I just want to re remind you of the corona wire, the selenium surface on this aluminium drum that is earthed um, and, and your original being projected onto that drum uh, and, and the selenium on that drum, uh, the black areas remain charged. They, they hold onto that very strong positive charge. And I'll continue in a second.